Welcome you all to the video lecture on signals in system. Today we are going to find the Z transform of x of n equal to a power n u of n and also we are going to draw its ROC. So, first the given question is x of n is equal to a power n u of n. So, we know the Z transform formula is x of Z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n. Okay. So, first a power n u of n. What is u of n? u of n value is 1 okay, and it exists for n greater than or equal to 0. So, I can write this term as a power n into 1 okay and it exists only for n greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for n less than 0 right. So, x of n wherever I have x of n I have to just replace it by a power n okay and that exists only for what n greater than or equal to 0. So, I can rewrite this expression as summation n equal to this term exists only for 0 to infinity okay and x of n is given by a power n okay in simple whenever you have u of n make your summation from n equal to 0 to infinity and u of n value is always 1 okay so you can remember in that way and then a power n into z power minus n your first step okay when you have summation n equal to 0 to infinity or power n outside okay whatever the base available you write within the braces. So, when I take power n outside only a is available. So, you can write a as it is here it is z inverse ok. So, now substitute your values of n. So, a z inverse the whole power 0 is nothing but 1 because any any value power 0 is 1 and then substitute n is equal to 1. So, a z inverse substitute n is equal to 2. So, a z inverse the whole square and it will be going on the summation it, it expands right. So, it will be going up to infinity and then so we know already the formula 1 plus x plus x square and it is so on or I can say that summation n is equal to, to infinity x power n ok. What is the formula 1 by 1 minus x ok. So, using this formula I can write. So, here what is the second term a z inverse ok. So, we have to use that. So, 1 by 1 minus a z inverse ok. And again I have to convert your inverse z terms into positive z terms. So, since I have z power minus 1 multiply and divide uh, multiply by z in both numerator and denominator. So, 1 into z is z z into 1 again is z minus a alone you will have because z and z inverse get cancelled ok that it becomes 1. So, now I can write that z transform of a power n u of n ok is nothing but z by z minus a and in additionally in the question ok in additionally in the question they have asked you to draw the ROC plot ok. So, since they have asked your ROC plot first we need to consider what are all the zeros available what are all the poles available ok. So, here I can draw like this ok your x axis is given by real part of z your y axis is given by imaginary part of z ok and how many zeros available what is zeros equate your numerator to 0. So, z equal to 0 is nothing but zeros ok and what is pole equate your denominator to 0. So, z minus a equal to 0 ok which implies z equal to a. So, I have only 1 0 that is nothing but 
z equal to 0. Zeros we used to denote it as by using a circle which exists at 0 position. Okay. And poles we used to represent it by cross mark. Since z equal to a, a it is positive value. So, we are going to take in the right side. Okay. If I get minus a, I will plot it in the left hand side. Okay. Since I get z equal to a, okay, I am drawing it in the positive side. Okay. And then, so wherever you have pole, okay, there and all I have to draw a circle. Okay. So, zeros are denoted by a small circle and poles are denoted by cross mark. Wherever I have pole, just draw a circle. Okay. So, first this thing you have to plot and then we need to know where your ROC exists. Okay. Whether it is above 0 or less than 0 or outside A or uh, or inside A like that we have to determine. Okay. So, for that what we are going to do means here once you have substituted your A power N all those things. Okay. So, here you have summation terms right. Sometimes you in the summation you will have negative terms. Okay. If you have negative values of N convert it into positive values of N that is your first step. Okay. So, here already I have values of N as positive. Okay. So, no issues. And once you have taken power n outside, okay, whatever the base available here, okay, whatever the base available here, that value I have to take within the modulus, okay, that is the ROC. So, for ROC, whatever the base available after taking n outside, whatever the base available, that is modulus of A Z inverse, okay that value I have to take it as lesser than 1. Okay. If it is so, how we can rewrite this expression? A by Z. Okay. Lesser than 1. And then take Z to the left hand side. So, you have modulus of A lesser than modulus of Z. Okay. So, your Z value it is greater than modulus of A that is your ROC. So, modulus of A in the sense you can take positive values of A, negative values of A. So, here I do not have pole but since it is circle it will cross across minus A, right. So, modulus of Z greater than A, since it is greater than A outside your circle I have to draw your ROC. This is my ROC plot, okay. So, if they ask only the Z transform of A power N U of N, you can stop your problem with this, okay. But additionally, they ask you to plot your ROC plot. If it is ROC plot, first draw your zeros and poles across in each and every pole, you have to draw one circle. So, if I have three, three poles, I will draw three circles, okay. So, once you have drawn that, we have to see your summation where your N value becomes positive and you have power n whatever the base available take that value in modulus and that should be lesser than 1 ok and from that find out your z value. So, here z is greater than a so I am drawing the ROC outside if z is lesser than a then I will draw inside the circle ok. Thank you. Thanks for watching.